Hello everyone! I hope you're all doing well and still enjoying this spooky season. If you'd like to see how I go from this to this, please keep watching. I got these two coffins from the Dollar Tree and I wanted to paint them a matte black, but I didn't like the finish of it so I changed my mind and decided to paint them a black gloss and I thought it looked a lot better. I really like the way these ones turned out. They looked a lot better than the matte. The glossy finish just makes them look really high end and if I was a vampire, I would totally sleep in these. I then trace both of my coffins on a piece of foam and cut that out. I used a regular pair of scissors to cut out both of my coffins in the foam and the foam was the perfect height for both of my coffins and it still had enough room for my cork board. After I cut the foam into the shape that I wanted it, I measured it inside my coffin to see if it fit and when it didn't, I just trimmed off a little bit more on the edges and then it fit perfectly. And I did the exact same thing with the other piece of foam for my other coffin. Once those were both done, I started on my cork board. Since I'll only be needing one cork board, I traced out one of the coffins onto the cork board and then cut that out. I used a pair of scissors to cut out the coffin from the cork board itself and then I switched to an X-Acto knife so I can get a more precise cut. All I did was use my X-Acto knife following the tracing lines that I made and then I went over it once just to make my initial cut and then a second time to make sure it went all the way to the bottom and then I snapped it off. To start off on my ring holder coffin, I used a ruler to mark off 1 inch sections on the foam until the entire coffin was marked. After everything was marked, I removed the foam and I cut slits into every marking with an X-Acto knife. After I slice through my markings a few times with my X-Acto knife, I pull back the sides of it just to make sure that the markings are going straight down and the foam is ripping apart evenly. And then I make sure that they go down at least half an inch, but not all the way down because I don't want my foam to rip. After I cut all my slits, I just double check everything and cut whatever needs to be cut and I pull apart all the foam to make sure it has enough room for a ring to go through. I got this red velvet material from Joanne's Fabrics. I honestly didn't even use half of it, but I'd rather be safe than sorry, so I decided to get a big piece. It only cost me like $2.50, but it is the perfect material for a vampire coffin, and all I did was cut it in half, and then I used certain pieces for each of the coffins. I used a longer piece of fabric for this coffin because I needed to make sure I had enough to fit through the slits for the rings and all I did was hold open the foam with two fingers kind of spreading it apart and then I put some E6000 glue in between that and then I pushed my material in between that using a ruler and my ruler had metal on the end of it so it was pretty perfect. I wasn't worried about it not being as sharp as I wanted it to be. And then I repeated the exact same process until the entire coffin was covered with material. For my pin coffin, I wanted to use cork board on top of the foam so it would be strong enough to hold on to any of those pins with the tack backs on them and not just the pins with the safety pins on the backs. I just used some E6000 to glue the cork to the foam and then I covered the entire thing in my velvet material. I put the foam on the material and seen I had some excess fabric, so after I cut that off, I wrapped my material around the coffin just like you would a present. I tried to make sure the edges were as sharp as possible, and then I glued the edges on and held those in place with pins until the glue dried. And 
remember not to worry about the back of it because no one's gonna see the back so don't worry if it looks a little crazy if there's some glue some excess fabric no one's gonna see it and no one will ever know After pinning the material in place, I just put that aside to let it dry and then I spray painted the lids of my coffins. For the back part of my ring holder, I just cut off the excess fabric and then I kind of tucked everything in, kind of bunching all the material up together. All I did was put one pin at the top of it just to hold the top part in place because that part, the fabric wasn't long enough to go around it. And then I just pushed it into the coffin. This coffin fit pretty snug, so I wasn't worried about it popping out or the material going anywhere. And then I just pushed the edges in with a ruler. After my glue dried on the back of my pin coffin, I just pulled out all of the pins and pushed it into the coffin itself. And that one fit snugly as well, so I wasn't worried about it going anywhere or the fabric moving. And of course, I used my ruler to push in the edges and make sure all of the fabric fit snugly. And here's everything all done. I really love these. I think these would be great for Halloween gifts or if you're having a Halloween themed wedding, these would be great to hold the rings. I wanted my ring holder just to hold Halloween rings and I wanted my coffin pin holder to just hold Halloween pins. I do have a lot more pins, but I thought this would be great to display your Halloween creepy horror pins and just have them out during Halloween time or all year round if you want. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe if you're not already. And if you do recreate these, please tag me at Alani DLC because I would love to see any recreations you guys make. I will see you guys next week and have a happy Halloween.